Well, good day, everyone. May the peace of Christ be with you today and this entire week. Today, we have another challenging gospel. Peter comes to Jesus and bluntly asks him how many times he needs to forgive another, be that his brother, his sister, friend, or coworker. Peter asks if he should forgive the other person seven times. As often is the case, Jesus does not answer Peter's question directly. Rather, Jesus bluntly tells Peter that he should forgive the other person, not just seven times, but 77 times. I had a lot of forgiveness. It's easier to forgive another if the hurt or the insult is minor. However, when a person has been betrayed or slandered us, we may find it more difficult to forgive that individual. This is understandable because our trust has been betrayed. Was Peter surprised by Jesus' answer? Was Peter thinking of a family member or friend that he needed to forgive? Or was he remembering someone he had hurt or wounded? Was Peter hoping that at some point he would be forgiven? Hopefully over time, we will forgive the person or people who wounded us. And in this process, we will free ourselves also of the heavy burden we've been carrying. Lack of forgiveness usually has more effect on us than the individual we need to forgive. Resentment and anger poison us. True, it's not easy to let go of our anger and our hurt. But if we can place our anger and hurt and the resentment into God's hands, God will heal us, even if it takes a long time. The grace is Jesus does not expect us to deal with these hurts or these resentments alone. Jesus walks with us, encourages us, and gives us the grace to let go and to forgive those who have hurt us. We have to be patient with this process, and we need to keep coming back to Jesus and asking him to help us forgive. Jesus wants us to ask him to free us of these burdens and any pain. Jesus is with us and he'll answer our prayers. Today, may we place all of our burdens, all of our anger, all of our pain in Jesus's hands. This will lighten our loads immensely and will free us also. We'll do whatever we need to do to trust in Jesus. St. Francis of Rome, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen.